Hello, I'm Harry, and I'm your friend. A tiny friend that lives inside you. Where? In your blood. The red stuff that sometimes comes out when you hurt yourself. And I'm not alone. I have a huge family of many, many cells, all of which are red and look like small plates. We all have an important job, and this is to carry oxygen, a substance that you take from the air when you breathe, and one that gives you lots and lots of energy. Many, many blocks of a special stuff called hemoglobin inside us help us to carry this oxygen. I should also mention that we red cells are not alone in blood. Three other families of friends are floating around. The white cells family, the platelets family, and the plasma family. We all have different jobs to do, and of course we look different, but we all work together to keep your body healthy and strong. The white cells are wibbly wobbly and white, and act like little soldiers fighting off germs to keep you healthy. The platelets look like tiny eggs and gather and stick together like building blocks to help you stop bleeding. On the other hand, the plasma is a yellow watery stuff in which all of us float and carries many, many nutrients that your body uses to keep you healthy and strong. Do you know where blood and all of us in it come from? Right, from a factory inside your bones. Sometimes, however, there is a problem at this factory and things go wrong. For example, sometimes it can't make red cells with the right helper, the hemoglobin inside. When this happens, then the red cells can't carry enough oxygen, and without this spectral nutrient, your body feels tired and you look weak and pale. Doctors call this anemia or thalassemia. Lots of children around the world have thalassemia. So if you have thalassemia, your red cells are weak and need a bit of help from the doctor. The best way the doctor can help you is to give you some new, strong red cells. This is called transfusion. What happens is that your doctor or nurse puts a tiny needle in your arm, which is joined to a plastic bag of lovely, new, strong red cells. This won't hurt much. But unfortunately, these new red cells don't stay long in your blood. After a short while, they break up and your body feels tired again. The doctor knows that, so after a few weeks, you will be asked to come back to the hospital to have some more new red cells. All of these new red cells are a great help, but your body still needs some extra help. This is because hemoglobin, our friend that helps us red cells carry the oxygen, has a special substance called iron bound to it. This is really the stuff onto which the oxygen sticks. And what happens is that when the new red cells break off a few weeks after your transfusion, this iron breaks off too. All that extra iron finds a place inside your body, such as in your heart or liver, to sit and stay. That can make it difficult for your body to work properly. Your skin can then become darker and you feel weak and don't grow properly. So now you need to take that extra iron out of your body. There are different kinds of medicines that can take out the extra iron from your body. For one of these medicines, you will need the help of a needle and a pump. Other medicines are pills that can take the iron out of your body. Whichever medicine your doctor gives you, your mum and dad will help you to take it properly until you grow up and learn to do it yourself. Many children like you have thalassemia. Now that you know all about us, the red cells and thalassemia, you can share this with other kids who also have thalassemia like you or who want to learn about it.